Guys, this is where I live. Oh my God. guys, what's up? It's Amanda and welcome back to Tokyo. Today, I'm actually gonna show you two secret locations. Okay, well, there's one major location that I'm gonna show you, with, uh, like a street line full of beautiful sakura, sakura trees. I'm too excited. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? It's Amanda and welcome back to Tokyo. Today, I'm gonna show you two secret locations for beautiful sakura trees, or also known as Japanese cherry blossom trees. <laughs> Oh my god, the petal just fell on my camera. Look, it's so pretty. So I went to immigration today and I just walked by this pathway and I'm like, oh my god, this is perfect. This is truly an unknown secret location. It It's a long pathway where people ride their bikes or walk their dogs and um, at this time of day, it's mostly like elderly people, um, no big crowds. It's easy to get to as far as you're only going to take one train, JR Chuo line, and then you're going to take a bus and I'll put all the information down below on how to actually get here. It's so peaceful, small, secluded. Uh, today's even extra beautiful because it's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's slightly breezy and the petals are just falling everywhere like did you see it just fell on my nose i would get married in this location like can i do that can i get married in this this pathway this is my first location small but don't underestimate the size it is really really awesome i need to look up other words for beautiful because i i don't think i i can actually really capture this through my video camera or through my my own vocabulary so you will have to take a bus to get here from the main station it's an hour and 15 minutes out from shinjuku definitely worth it though i do recommend that you're a little bit more well versed with google maps in tokyo before attempting to actually come here because i could see somebody getting very lost along the way or at least be with somebody who's more google maps savvy um, just to ensure you get the best experience you get here quickly you're able to enjoy your time here or if you like wandering through the residential areas of Tokyo then um, go ahead and do that as well anyways I'm done with this location on to location number two this will be another hidden not so well-known area of Tokyo that has beautiful cherry blossoms or sakura trees second location um, I'm gonna introduce it but first I'm starving so I need to find food first and I also need to find a toilet so I got the salmon with avocado and egg over rice I was originally gonna get something without rice because I'm trying to lay off the carbs but they didn't have anything on the menu without rice, so I went for this healthy option. So right next to Ask a Giraffe restaurant, there is a fabulous shop called George's. So I highly recommend you guys come and check this out if you're in the area. So I'm here at my second location, which is at Kunitachi Station. It's on the JR Chuo line. After exiting the train on the platform, if you look out the window, you see a beautiful long line of sakura trees. You exit the station, I believe it's the central exit, and if not, then I'll list it right here. But 
it's absolutely gorgeous. There's some shopping you can do here. There's a uh, there's a few restaurants here. Let me show you a couple things that I recommend to do if you come along this path. shopping you can actually do in here that's this place called Second Street Reuse Shop. There are a lot of thrift clothes shops in Tokyo but um, I find them to be a little bit on the pricier side but if you come on the outskirts of Tokyo to those thrifting stores um, they actually have a wide selection and reasonably priced. I went inside this shop here um, I couldn't film inside but I did see pants oh, actually a ton of pants that were really cute for about 500 yen which is about five dollars and they also had bigger brand items such as Louis Vuitton and Coach. You've had something to eat, now you want to do some shopping? Maybe come check out this store. But let's see what else there is to do. But I'm still the unheard, still the unheard of. I'm still Um, Mr. Donut has a promotion for Sakura Donut. I highly recommend it. There's tons of benches in the area and you can enjoy whatever seasonal snack you want to enjoy on here. But I recommend the Mr. Donut Sakura Donut Sugar Bomb though. Be warned. By the way, this was only 140 yen. There was only two left. So make sure you jump on it if you're here. Go get yourself a Mr. Donut Sakura flavor one. that Meguro opened up a new Starbucks that's supposed to be the biggest in the entire world that you can sit on the rooftop and overlook Meguro River to see all the sakura but if you don't want to wait in line and you want to avoid crowds you can actually come over here you see that there's another Starbucks right behind me and your view of all the sakura is amazing this is like probably the biggest thing we're at Kunitachi station there's a Starbucks right here and literally outdoor patio right literally watch I'm just gonna turn the camera around now and you're gonna see all the sakura you can see from this patio again no line no crowds beautiful scenery why the heck not Okay guys, that's it for my secret Hanami uh, hidden sakura hidden cherry blossom spots in Tokyo. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment below and let me know your secret spots in Tokyo. I would love to go check them out. Thank you for subscribing and giving me this opportunity to film beautiful things just like this. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Ooh.